Welcome to the GibbsCam 5 Minute Demo. Today we're going to show you about chord height on your models and how it affects your file size. You can see I have three parts on my screen here, a very small part by 0.1 by 0.2, a larger part 20 inches by 10 inches, and I have a standard curtain vise here. Now depending on your preferences that you've set up in Gibbs, your chord height will affect how your models come in. The normal default is 10 thousandths in there. Uh, to me, that's a little too coarse to bring in. Uh, computers are fast enough nowadays that uh, you don't need it quite that coarse. So change that to one thousandths and click Apply. That'll bring in most average size parts and make them look pretty good. Now since I've already brought these parts in, it retains the old chord height. I'm going to zoom up this area here and you can see it doesn't look too good. It's a little bit chunky here on the corners. Not very good. I'm going to right click and click on where it says show properties. It's going to show me the properties of this model here. You can see the chord height is 0.1. Okay, a little too coarse. I'm going to change that to 1 thousandths. Click apply. And you can see now the model looks much better. Okay. Do not change it to 1 10 thousandths for an average size part. All you're going to do is increase the file size by quite a bit. Let's look at this little part here. You can see that also looks pretty bad here. We're going to change that one. You can see it's about 0.1. Let's look at 10 thousandths in there. Still not too good looking for that small part. 1 thousandths. Uh, pretty good. Let's look at uh, 1 10 thousandths. Now maybe on an extremely small part you could change that to 1 10 thousandths, but average size parts, uh, I would not do that. It would increase your file size quite a bit. Now let's click on the vise here, both pieces, right click. This time go to show properties of selected. You can see it shows both the uh, bodies here. I'm going to change that to a fixture. And for most fixtures, average size fixtures like a Kurt vise, I'm going to keep it at 0.1 because we're not going to be cutting the vise and we don't want to increase our file size too much. And this uh, vise looks pretty good even at 0.1. I'm going to save this. If you look at your part here, you can see it's about 50 megs, 51 megs. Okay, pretty good size part. Now one reason why file size gets so large is because when you bring in a solid model, a lot of times you'll rotate it, duplicate it, translate it, rotate it, uh, a myriad of things, and that increases the file size because Gibbs keeps a record of every uh, move you make with a solid. And we can see those moves by right clicking on the body, clicking on show history. You can see I rotated this part quite a bit. I look at the vise, same thing, the rear jaws quite a bit. And let's look at this little part here. You can see I've done a lot to that as well. So if you're done moving your parts around, your solid models, and you have them where you need them, then clear the history out. Now you can clear the history out of every solid model on your screen quick and easy by just doing Control A, which is shortcut for Select All. Right click on any of the models. Go down to Clear Histories of Selected. And it's going to give you a warning saying this isn't undoable. You can't do a control Z or an undo. That's okay. Just click on yes. You go back and look at the history again. You can see there is no history. It's just the uh, standard model you brought in. Let's do a save again. And if I look at my file size, now it went from about 51 megs down to 10 megs. So you can save a tremendous amount of time um, saving and uh, working on your part and your file size by learning how to clear the history and uh, learning how to use chord heights properly. It will increase your uh, speed at which it uh, renders and your file size when you save and reduces file size. Thanks for watching the Gibbs Cam demo.